Victor, I have a question that mainly interests my subscribers, those who follow the company resources, Steen, Solar Group, and Solar Mash, very closely and regularly for news and updates. They are a little bit worried because everyone found out that you have also transitioned to work at another place and hold a certain position there, which you are keeping quiet about. It's most likely meant to be kept as a secret. And this raises an important question among all of the people. Is this new solar group project about airships somehow related to your transition to the company you are currently working for? No, this is not related to airships. This airship project, as I learned only recently, just a week ago, I also saw at the conference. As you know, I have already transitioned to a new project. To be more precise, I have not transitioned to a new project. I joined the new project because here in Ehi, we are not just testing this car for no reason. The production of motors is taking place here at Ehi. Because of the successes that have been achieved here, I was invited to Zhejiang University with the Institute of Turbo Machinery and Drives to create drives for flying vehicles in order to successfully and efficiently in collaboration with academician Tupolev. This is a relative of the well-known and famous Tupolev. I really can't say much about the project, just that I work there, and that's all I can share. That is, in fact, the photographs and images are actually impossible because the work is not entirely open. It is indeed enough that I work with a person who has truly been involved in ballooning since birth and for generations, in fact. So, this is a good fortune for the technology, especially in the field of technology. My task is to develop electric motors for these flying vehicles and then test them thoroughly and ensure they meet all safety standards. When they are released, then we will talk about this innovative development. Currently, at the moment, we are engaged in the process of the preparation. We are thoroughly testing these flying vehicles, as well as the design itself. Work is underway in various fields with many areas of designers, technical experts and specialists, technicians, batteries and control. But we are talking about hybrids, that is, they are not purely electric, because everything that currently exists for electric flying vehicles lasts a maximum of 40 to 45 minutes. Battery limitation. If you install a larger battery, the device becomes heavier, motors are heavier, motors are larger, consumption increases, all of this creates a closed cycle. Our task now is to create a hybrid drive. This is a completely different type of electric transport vehicle that is designed for transportation. The future. As we know indeed, in the near future, China is putting in a significant amount of effort in this direction. The government pays great attention and allocates significant funds for such projects. Therefore, the fact that I was invited there also demonstrates interest. The application of technology in the future in various ways. In other words, it is not limited to a single type of transport or flying vehicle, but rather to the development of motor systems and subsequently orders for new motor systems and components because each transport or flying vehicle requires its own specific motor systems. What we see now in Sovelmash for the Motilka is a motor that used to be the Kolobok 318 size. The maximum output can reach 60 kW, but that is in mechanical power. What we are currently using in China is 60 kW of consumed power. The difference is significant. Utilized with the battery along with the entire system and the entire system and developed at the shaft. That is, we expect to achieve 200 kg of lift for the most on one motor. Currently, we are selecting a good controller. It needs to be higher voltage. In principle, it is high voltage. Compared to approximately 80 volts, we need to switch to about 140 volts. This will be thrust. It should be over 200 kilo, since testing with 80 volts showed 157 kilo, not 157 kilograms. As the voltage increases, the torque of the propellers increases considerably and substantially, significantly affecting the overall performance of the system. And the difference when the propellers spin at approximately 2400 and 2800 RPM is that the lift increases by 50 kilograms. 
from 0 to 2400 develops 150 kilo, from 2400 to 2800 develops 200 kilo. There is a big difference between the two scenarios. When we raise the voltage to 140 volts, the moth will flutter very well and energetically. That's why we are working diligently and persistently in this particular direction. But the purpose of the motors currently being used on the drone is to attract customers to order even more powerful engines. Because right now, at this moment, we are using eight motors, which is a lot. In reality, we want to use four engines for the flying vehicle, which is essential for its operation and efficiency. That's a brief summary of what I can say about the project at this stage.